Key takeaways. 1. Business failings that prevent IT productivity generally involve disregarding the importance of IT and not providing IT with the autonomy and resources it needs. 2. Development and operations work better when they are considered two halves of the same team, not competitors. Their cooperation is necessary to improve the complete resource change for the many steps between a business goal and deployment. 3. Making work in process visible requires complete awareness of resource spending and control over which projects are released from the queue. Releasing work should be decided based on availability of the most limiting resource, also called the constraint. 4. Once the constraint of a process is identified, the next responsibilities of the team are to exploit the constraint and to subordinate the constraint by making it less necessary. Improvement to the deployment pipeline anywhere but at the point of constraint results in no gains. 5. The ultimate goal of documenting the deployment pipeline is to ensure that a process can be replicated and eventually automated if possible. 6. The more utilized a particular resource is, the longer tasks will wait in a queue before receiving hands-on attention. These wait times multiply when a task is handed off between workstations multiple times. 7. If a team is not constantly improving itself in some way, entropy guarantees that its skills are decreasing. 8. The four types of work are business tasks, internal IT projects, changes, and unplanned recovery work that travels backward through the deployment pipeline. 9. The first way of DevOps states that all work must flow from development to IT to the customer. This flow should be maximized and free of defects. 10. The second way of DevOps states that feedback should flow from the customer to IT and from IT to development. It must be amplified to prevent problems, improve detection and recovery, and improve overall quality. 11. The third way of DevOps states that a business's IT culture should support experimentation, risk-taking, and the learning and practice that facilitate mastery. 12. DevOps strategies apply to departments that already use other structures, use open source or proprietary software, or are of any size or flexibility.